Hello friends, this video on differential equation part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 10. The volume of a spherical balloon being inflated changes at a constant rate. Initial radius is 3 unit and after 3 seconds, it is 6 unit. Find the radius of the balloon after 3 seconds. So the question says, Understand this question, please pay attention, it's a little difficult question. The volume of a spherical balloon is changing at a constant rate. So the first question we get is dv by dt is some constant. That is the first line. Correct. And v we know is nothing but 4 by 3 pi r k for the spherical balloon. Correct. Also, we are told that initially that means t is equal to 0, r is equal to 3. t is equal to 0, r is equal to 0. And after 3 seconds, t is equal to 3, r is equal to 6. This data we have. We have to find the ball, uh, radius at t is equal to t. What is the radius? This is what we have to find. Correct. Understand this. The question says the volume of this balloon is changing at a constant rate. That is dv by dt is constant and v is equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube we know. Also we are told that initially that is t is equal to 0, r is equal to 3 and t is equal to 3, r is equal to 6. So we are told that dv by dt is equal to k. Let's put this equation dv is nothing but d of 4 by 3 pi r cube by dt is equal to some constant. Correct. So let's use differential equation to solve this. So this becomes let's uh, differentiate this. This guy becomes the four by three pi r cube becomes three r square, right? Three r square dr by dt. This is equal to k. Correct. That's what we get. Three three cancels. So what do we get? 4 pi is again constant. Integration of r square dr is equal to k integration of dt. Because we have got this, uh, this is nothing but a differential equation. Correct? Differential equation of order 1 degree 1. So I got this. So if we solve this further, this becomes 4 pi r square becomes r cube by 3 is equal to kt plus. That means I got an equation where I have this radius in terms of t. For this, let's find the value of k and c because we have two variables. Let's put the value of t is equal to 0, r is equal to 3. So this becomes 4 pi, right? r is equal to 0, 0, sorry, r is equal to 3, 3 cubed by 3, t is equal to 0, 0 plus c. Correct? So you got c is equal to this becomes 9, 9, 4, 36 pi. So I got the value of c, I have to find the value of k now. Let's put this value of t is equal to 3, r is equal to 6. This becomes 4 pi, r is equal to 6 q by 3 is equal to k. We have to find t is equal to 3 plus c is 36 pi. Correct. So if you solve this, you get k as this becomes 6 into 6, 30, uh, 36 into 6, 108 into 4, 288, 288 minus 30, 6 is 252, 252 by 3, that is 252 by 3 pi, that is 84 pi, correct, you get k is equal to 84 pi, k is equal to 84 pi, so I have got c, I have got k, so my equation, general equation turns out to be, I'll put this value here only, use the space here, right? So I get my 4 pi by 3 r cube is equal to k, that is 84 pi into t plus c, that is 36 pi, pi I'll cancel in both all three, correct? So I get r cube as 3 by 4 into Right? 
84t plus 36. So if you solve this, you get R as nothing but 63t plus 27 to the power 1 by 3. Why? Because 84 into 4 by 3, if you see 3 by 4, if you see, this becomes 21, 21 into 3 is 63, this becomes uh, 9, 93 is 27. This is what I get R. So this is the value of R at t second. 63t plus 27 to the power 1 by 3. Correct. Please understand this question is a very difficult question you can say or very uh, challenging question if you understand this question properly. Here we have been told that the volume of this uh, balloon change is constant. The rate of change of volume is constant. I wrote this equation d by t is equal to p. I knew v is equal to 4 by 3 pi r2. I am told that t is equal to 0, r is equal to 3, t is equal to 3, r is equal to 6 and t is equal to t, I have to find the value of r. That means I have this equation, this equation is nothing but this equation, right, if you solve this and that is the differential equation. So from, from here onward the question is simple. Let's take one more question. The question says in the bank the principal increase continuously at the rate of r percent per year. Find the value of r if rupees 100 doubles itself in 10 years. Please note this is similar to the last question. The first question, the first line says that the principal increase continuously at the rate of r percent. Right? That means if my p is the principal then dp by dt this constant that is r percent of p that is r by 100 into p correct that is what the question says now from this we can easily find the equation because this is nothing but the differential equation if you see dp by t some k into p right also we are told that at t is equal to 0 my principal was 100 and at t is equal to 110, my principal becomes 200. Please note, because the rupees 100 doubles itself in 10 years. So t is equal to 0, it was 100 rupees. And after 10 years, this becomes 200 rupees. So this is my equation, let's solve this. So this becomes actually dp by p is equal to r by 100 dt. Integrate both sides, you get log of p is equal to rt by 100 plus some constant. Now to find the value of r and k using these equations. Let's put t is equal to 0, p is equal to 100. So I get log of 100 is equal to 0 plus k. So I got k as log of 100, right? So my k as log of same thing, I'll put uh, t is equal to 10 here. So this becomes log of p becomes log of 200 because p is 200. This becomes r into t is 10 by 10 100 plus k that is log of 100. So you get r by 10 as log of 200 minus log of 100, right? Log of 200 minus log of 100 and that thing by r by 10 is equal to log of 200 by 100 that thing with log of 2 and log of 2 is 0 0.6931 correct so r is equal to 10 into log of 2 that is 0 0.6931 so r is nothing but 6.931 and that is my answer Correct. Right. Now that difficult to find, easy to find this. So what we have seen here is, we were told that rate of change of principal is constant, dp by dt is some constant and that is r by 100 into p. Right. It is not constant actually, this is r by 100 into p. We are told that dp by dt is r by 100 into p because it it is proportional to p and r. So we got this equation. This is a differential equation. And this is one example of uh, application of uh, differential equation in the real life. This I didn't tell in the first slide. We can use this also. 
and when the money bank grows in the bank this goes generally with this uh, interest money grows and the population grow everything grow with the differential equation and with this i was told that t is equal to 0 my principal 100 t is equal to 10 doubled and i supposed to find the rate of interest and with this i found the rate of interest thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again